Where we currently sit on 103rd Street and 5th Avenue is right in the middle of two different zip codes, one of which is one of the wealthiest in the United States, if not the world, and one of which is among the lowest income in the United States. And so for that reason, certain communities that have been systematically excluded from care, people are not equal in their ability to access health care. That disparity in access to care, in wealth, and in turn in life expectancy is among the biggest anywhere in the world. Sinai was noticing that certain people were having an awful quality of life in the hospital all the time. People who have multiple chronic conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, and depression that are the leading cause of death and disability around the world. When the doctors told me that I had lupus, I felt like it was a death sentence. I was scared. In the beginning, I was really, really ill. I ended up being hospitalized several times. It started off with um, blood clots. Then it went from losing my sight to finding that I was a diabetic. I'm now struggling with arthritis. Sinai got interested in the idea that if we could access healthcare more acutely for people who really needed it, you could control costs as well as improving people's quality of life. That is how Peak Health started. People are identified by Mount Sinai as folks who have been frequently in the emergency room or frequently in the hospital, and maybe have not been able to consistently access primary care. And so people are invited to enroll in this program where they see their doctor much more frequently for a much longer span of time and with the support of a social worker and a care coordinator. As a supplement to that, the Peak Health Wellness Program got started. I was very skeptical. I am a very private person, and I really did not feel like sharing my medical history and talking to all of these strangers. But it turned out that that was the greatest choice that I made. Patients counsel other patients within Peak Health as far as behavior change, lifestyle change. Exercising more, diet, super important, not only for pain, but for medical conditions, depression. Once you go losing that weight, everything changes. People help each other to say, this is how I did it, this is what I struggled with, this is what worked for me, and this is how I can help you to do that. And that is something that, as a physician, I can't do directly because I haven't walked the walk in the same way that patients have. I was thinking maybe swimming should be one of the therapies too. Yeah, you know, like aquatic therapy or pool therapy is an amazing thing for lots really? of people because okay. you don't put as much pressure I on the joints. I met the people and um, I kind of liked it. I realized I'm not that bad, I can do this. You know, I can get through this and it educated me. I didn't know about calories. I didn't know that stress brought on a lot of stuff. The lifestyle now is more veggies, more fruits. So I am grateful that I even had the opportunity to be into this program. For vulnerable people dealing with many chronic conditions, Peak Health has shown demonstrably a significant decrease in how often people visit the ER, as well as how frequently people end up in the hospital. It has also decreased the cost per patient per year significantly. Generic medications are cheaper, almost always, and more readily available around the world. They are the linchpin of treating and preventing many of these conditions. We have realized that Teva had the logistical support to aid us with some of these medications, but also to aid us with setting up these kinds of programs. If it wasn't for Peak Health, I don't know if I would be here right now. Every hospital in every country should have something like a Peak Health clinic. It has been life-changing. Primary care across multiple conditions is pivotally important. And if we can provide that kind of universal care, we can live in a better world.